Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a video on how to check what version of uh, ELM327 OBD2 uh, uh, transponder or uh, interface you have. Uh, basically, I think the latest version is a 2.1 uh, version. And, uh, you know, depending on who you buy it from, eBay or Amazon, and I will put a link to where I bought mine on Amazon in the video description below. Yeah, you know, you may, it may vary which version you get. But again, if you're buying a, a version 2.1 or a version 2.0, you want to know which version you got from the actual manufacturer or from the uh, seller. And uh, in this video, I'll show you how to do that. Now, first thing you're going to need is, of course, a 327 adapter, though this one doesn't say it's a 327 adapter. I got it with an Elm, sorry, an Elm 327 adapter. Uh, I got this with a uh, uh, advanced scanner that I bought as a free gift. And, uh, you know, uh, basically, I know that it's an Elm327 because I've already scanned it. But uh, regardless, I also have this o uh, OBD2 uh, Elm327 as well, uh, which I'm going to show you how to check the actual version number. I'll do a, a scan on both of them so you can see the results. Uh, but again, they're older, so I know they won't be a 2.0 or 2.1. So uh, first thing you're going to need to do is go to your Play Store, and you're going to need an Android device to do this, as you can see, Android ODB, OBD, sorry. Uh, in my case, it's a Samsung Galaxy uh, S4, so it's getting a little long in the tooth, but it still works great. So go to the Play Store, the Google Play Store, and once you get there, you're going to go to uh, do a search, and you're going to do a search for Elm327 identifier and that's what I, I've got in there hopefully you can read that let me zoom that in oh actually I can't so just leave it at that elm327 identifier and you'll see that the first app you get it looks like a elm327 with a question mark on it uh, and of course it says elm327 327 identifier and uh, basically click on that and uh, install the app a very short app just accept the uh, uh, actual um, terms there and installs pretty quickly it's a uh, 620k it's really small uh, and after that's done you're ready to go you can open it if you wish uh, but first we should plug in these uh, one of these elm 327s I'll, I'll plug this one in first uh, the blue one and uh, after I do that and I'll show you how I do that on my car um, after we've installed it we're going to uh, actually just I'm just going to open the, the app here anyways just to show you the app and you can see all the version numbers here all the way down to 2.1. So, uh, you know, this will help you identify the uh, actual adapter and what version it is. That way you'll know whether you got exactly what you paid for or not. And then you can either, you know, be happy or ship it back and say, hey, send me a 2.1. That's what I ordered. And, uh, you know, so next we're going to plug this into the OD, uh, OBD connector, ODB, OBD2 connector on my Hyundai Santa Fe. Or I should say Hyundai Santa Fe uh, and uh, it's a 2003 3.5 uh, liter engine so we're going to plug it in and uh, then we're going to scan it using this tool uh, after which you'll see which version it is and I will also scan this one too. As a small aside here um, I wanted to show you the similarities between the ODB2 Elm 327s that I have even though this one doesn't say that it's an Elm 327 it is. Uh, basically uh, I wanted to show you that the guts are similar but not the same so let's just take a look here and you'll see the circuitry through the blue one. I tried to take the cover off the blue one, but it started getting marred up and starting to break. So uh, I didn't want to go all the way with that. As, and you can see through the cover anyway. I, I don't know why they made this one uh, absolutely black. You can't see through it at all. But regardless, I took the cover off on that one. That was easy. And you can see the circuitry is similar. We've got a Bluetooth antenna on the circuit here. Bluetooth antenna on the circuit here. Uh, some integrated circuits on a it looks like a riser board. Uh, and same on this one, but the, the IC in the center or the integrated circuit in the center of the blue one is much larger than the one on the black, um, you know, interface. And then we have the LEDs here that uh, flash to show you the states like, you know, data and power and so on and communications. And this one has the same LEDs here. Uh, we'll take it and turn it to the side. You see that there's a riser board. There's a circuit board here and then a riser board on that one. And this one has the same thing, a circuit board and then the riser board on top with a display. So they're similar, but they're not identical. So we'll see what the differences are when we test them out. On my Santa Fe, the OBD2 connector is behind the fuse panel. So here I'm just going to remove the fuse panel, uh, the fuse panel cover, I should say. And uh, then you can see the fuse panel and on the upper right or under 
right side you see the connector itself so let me zoom in on that and get a better view of it and then the next thing to do is plug the elm 327 into it so straight up there we go you can see the uh, red power LED is on there. The other lights are doing nothing because it's not actually communicating at all. I do have the uh, vehicle in the accessory mode, so the key's turned on to the point where you can listen to the radio, uh, but the car is not running. So your OBD2 connector may be next to the fuse panel. It could be under the dash. It could be on the passenger side under the dash. It could be in the glove box. And I've also seen it in the center console. So look around for yours, find it where it goes, and uh, plug it in. And that's what we got. We got the uh, blue one in there, the Elm 327. Next, we got to interface it with our phone. So we have to go and uh, basically install it through Bluetooth. Let's do that. Here, we're going to click on the settings button and go to Bluetooth. You find the settings in your apps um, and uh, go from there. And after you're in Bluetooth, uh, which is under connections by the way, we're gonna do a scan and you'll find OBD2 showing up here on the bottom. Uh, I've got two there showing up. I think they're old. Uh, that's an old, uh, what do you call it, scan. So I'm just gonna choose the first one here. Just, you probably only have one and the first one is the one that counts. You see Bluetooth pairing request, it asks you for a code. In my case, it's one, two, three, four. It might be four zeros for you. Try both. I just try one, two, three, four, and I know it works. So, and then hit the check mark, then hit OK. And then we should have a OBD2 paired device there. So, let's get out of that. Next, we're going to go into our Elm 327 scan uh, identifying app, which is under E, of course. So we're gonna scroll over to E, uh, Elm 327 identifier, there it is. And here we're going to do a connect, and then we're gonna do a Bluetooth. And we're going to Bluetooth, and as you, as you can see here, OBD1, uh, and, and then a, C, a MAC address underneath. So uh, I'm gonna click on that, and it should be scanning it right now. Yep, and you can see the lights flashing on it. There we go, populating. And you can see that it's green all the way to 1.4. And up here, it says, I am an Elm 327 version 1.5. Let me zoom in on that for you. There you go, you can see that a little more clearly. Well, before it disappeared. Uh, I'll take a screenshot and show you what I got there. And uh, next we're gonna do that same thing with the actual um, black OBD2 connector. And uh, so same procedure again, we're just gonna plug it in and go from there. And so I'll unplug the other one plug this one in uh, again you probably only have one of these I'm just doing this for an example you can see that one's uh, the LED the power LED is on and it's ready to go so let's go back to Bluetooth on the phone and that's under settings the gear under connections Bluetooth I'm gonna unpair this one here as it's no longer there do another scan, let it go for a little second. And then I'm just gonna choose the top one. Again, pairing request, one, two, three, four. Quite a check mark, okay. We're now paired up with that device. And let's just uh, minimize this out of the way. We're gonna go to the Elm 327 in your apps, identifier. Here we're going to hit on connect again, Bluetooth, and I've got all the devices here. And uh, this is my OBD2. There we go. And let it scan again. All right. And it says, I am an Elm 327 version 1.5. So they're both identical in the version numbers. They see everything populated. Um, you know, the results are right there. You can hit on results and get you know all the different commands that it's it's compatible with. I guess you can save that as well. So I'm gonna close on that. But basically, once again, let me uh, zoom in on this. See if you can see that what it says right there. I am an Elm 
327 version 1.5. So both of them are the same, but the procedure is basically showing you how to find out what version you have and uh, how to install the, M320, the Elm 327 in your Android device and have it uh, show you whether you got shipped the right one or not. So as far as I know, the latest version is 2.1. This thing's showing up as uh, saying a, as a version 1.5. And uh, yours, of course, will differ. These are older ones, so, you know, regardless. Either way, mine works just perfectly fine. Both of these work just for perfectly fine for what I need. Uh, yours will probably do the same. That's it for my video on the Elm 327 OBD2 uh, interface module. Really, really handy thing to have when diagnosing car issues. I'll put a link to this in the video description below. Just click on that. It will take you to Amazon where you can purchase one of these currently for under $10, okay? If this video helped you out in some way, uh, please do me a favor. Click on the like button here in the bottom right-hand corner. Give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel and my videos. And, you know, uh, I appreciate it greatly. I also appreciate you watching and your time.